this is going to ruin it for a lot of people that love St. Patrick's Day. First of all, it has nothing to do with Irish pride. That's how it was shown later. There's nothing to do with leprechauns or Irish pride. It has nothing you to do with that. You just killed two great uh, fantasies I know. Right there. Really, if you look into what that was, is that St. Patrick, right, the St. Patrick, was a uh, Roman. His father was a Roman official, and he was tasked, just like the Roman Empire did with cleansing, the, destroying the Gnostic people who originally were the Egyptians and burning the Library of Alexandria. He was tasked with going to Ireland and the, the UK and Scotland area, but we specifically think of it as Ireland because that was the, the core of this, right. where they went there and they were supposed to eradicate the last group on the planet that was still studying was that ancient old religion were, who were known as the serpents. So if you look at the story of St. Patrick, he was ridding the serpents, the snakes, right? The snakes from Ireland. But if you look all throughout geologic history of that region, there's never been snakes that lived there. It's a metaphor. Huh. It's a metaphor for the Druid people and, and pagans as a more general term, anyone who didn't follow this monotheistic Christian religion. And they were seen as a threat because they had, though they were the last group that had the ancient knowledge and they were greatly demonized later. So what happened was you're celebrating the representation of the genocide and cleansing of the last serpent group on the, on, in the, on the planet, the Druids who build Stonehenge.